Hello guys! This is Assignment Experts channel and in this video we will talk about limits of irrational functions, where x is under a rational sign or simpler under the root and also x tends to any number including infinity. For example, let's have limit of uh, the square root of 7 minus x minus 2 over x minus 3, while x tends to 3. If we'll substitute 3 into our limit, we'll get 0 over 0. We know that this is uncertainty, so we need to somehow change the function under the limit sign to solve it. And in such cases, we need to multiply numerator and denominator by conjugate expression. So this limit gives us limit of uh, the square root of 7 minus x minus 2 times conjugate expression, the square root of 7 minus x plus 2 over x minus 3 times the square root of 7 minus x plus 2, while x tends to 3. Here we use the difference of squares formula to get the following. In the numerator, we get 7 minus x um, minus 4. And denominator is the same. x minus 3 times the square root of 7 minus x plus 2, while x tends to 3. So here we get 7 minus 4, which is 3 minus x. And this is similar to x minus 3, except we need to factor out negative 1. So now we get limit of negative 1 times x minus 3. And in the denominator, we have x minus 3 times uh, the square root of 7 minus x plus 2. We cancel out x minus 3 and get limit of negative 1 over the square root of 7 minus x plus 2, while x tends to 3. Okay, now we can substitute 3 into our limit. We get negative 1 over the square root of 7 minus 3 plus 2. Here we get 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so negative 1 over 2 plus 2 gives us negative 1 fourth. And that's the answer. Okay guys, we have another limit for you. Here we can see that this is a difference of two square roots. x tends to infinity. And if we insert infinity into our limits, we will get infinity minus infinity. This is also an uncertainty. So here we need to, once again, somehow change the function under the limit sign. Let's see, we can consider this expression as the numerator. And denominator will be just 1. And now we need to multiply numerator and denominator by conjugate expression. So we get limit of uh, the square root of x squared minus 1 minus the square root of x squared plus x times the square root of x squared minus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus x. And in the denominator we have the square root of x squared minus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus x, while x tends to infinity. Over here in the numerator, this is the difference of squares formula. So this gives us the following. x squared minus 1 minus x squared plus x. And in the denominator, we have the same. The square root of x squared minus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus x, 
while x tends to infinity. Okay, in the numerator we have x squared minus x squared gives us 0, so we are left with negative 1 and negative x. So now we have limits of negative 1, negative x over the square root of x squared minus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus x while x tends to infinity. Now in the numerator we can factor out x and in braces we'll have negative 1 over x minus 1. And in the denominator we also can factor out x. Then in braces we'll have the square root of 1 minus 1 over x squared plus the square root of 1 plus 1 over x. We can cancel out x. And now let's see uh, these terms with x in the denominator. x tends to infinity, therefore all these terms tend to 0. And we are left with negative 1, the square root of 1, and the square root of 1. So this gives us negative 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1. And this gives us negative 1 half. That's it, guys. This is the answer.